Hey everyone, I'm Tessa from Plan A York and I'm super excited to take this opportunity to do my very first ever vlog on what it's like to be a fairly new mom and a very new business owner. When I had my son in August of last year, so 2017, I wasn't sure what I was going to do when my one year of mat leave was up. The idea of going back to work full time didn't really sit well with me, that wasn't what I saw myself doing, so I knew that when it came time to deciding what I was going to do, I would have to find something where I could work from home 100% of the time or at least some of the time. Deciding on what I was going to do was not easy. I didn't know if I would return to where I was when I went on mat leave. If I did return, would I go back full or part time? I just wasn't sure what I was going to do. And then we ended up moving to Newmarket and I thought, hey, there's no plan A in the Toronto area yet. When the opportunity presented itself, there was really no way that I could say no. I love the vision. I love the mission. I love how the story can be told. And I love that I get to continue working alongside all of the women that I worked with for almost three years in the Sudbury office. So being a mom and a business owner, like I said at the beginning, that's what this vlog is all about. There were a lot of questions questions that I didn't have the answers to in the beginning like would I hate that I put myself in the position of being away from my family? Would I hate uh, working a, a job where I didn't really have the eight to four lifestyle like I was used to working? Would I hate myself for putting myself in the position of being a business owner? These were kind of the main three questions that I didn't know the answers to and I didn't like that. I didn't know the answers then but I can happily say no to all of them now. So like I said, the first question that I had for myself was, would I hate being away from my family? And obviously, yes, I don't like being away from my family. I would prefer to be home with them 100% of the time, but that's really not realistic for anybody. When I first started out, I didn't know how I would feel. Leaving it was a little bit hard at the beginning, but because I'm really loving what I'm doing, I love the work, I'm passionate about it, and I understand why I'm doing it, it's a lot easier to love what I'm doing and then be happier when I come home. The second question I had for myself was would I prefer the eight to four lifestyle that I was used to working before going on mat leave? And the answer is definitely not. I thought that maybe I would have preferred, you know, being able to leave work, go home and not worry about it till I go back. Because when you're a business owner, you're constantly thinking about your business. But I actually really love that. And I love that I get to work my work around my family as opposed to trying to fit in family around work like lots of people have to do. And so I really actually love being able to create my own hours and not be stuck to that eight to four. The third question that I had was would I hate that I put myself in the position of being a business owner? And the answer is no, definitely not. Like I said, all of the answers are no to these questions. I've, I've always had kind of an entrepreneurial spirit. I always saw myself owning a business at some point in my life. I just didn't know what kind of a business. And if you would have asked me, I was gonna say three years ago when I finished school, but even a year ago, what I would be doing at this point, owning a healthcare company wouldn't have even been on my list. It wouldn't have been last, it wouldn't have even been on the list. Healthcare is something was something totally foreign to me before starting working with Plan A, and I never saw myself in the role that I'm in now, but I love it. Being a nurse was something that I always thought would be really neat, being able to give back to the community that way, but I don't have it in me to be a nurse, but being in the position that I'm in now, I get to hire people who are really passionate about what they do and I get to staff them into homes that really need the care and that to me is, it's amazing. It makes me feel really proud and happy of what I'm doing. So I hope that I gave you a little bit of an insight into kind of my life and how I came to be a plan A business owner while being a mom. I know that this post is probably a little bit more personal but later on I promise to make it more business. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to doing this again.